Hey everybody, I'm Kenny, this is Sagebrush Soul, and today we're crossing one off the bucket list. Like I said, this is a bucket list thing for me today. We're at the Battle of the Little Bighorn. It's really incredible. I'll tell you a couple things up front. I should have done more homework before I came. Uh, so I had a little bit more of an understanding of all the vantages and views, and I grossly underestimated how much time it was going to take. I drove an hour out of my way as of the Rocky Mountain Association Affairs and Billings uh, to come, figured, you know, hour of filming and taking in what it has to offer. You need a minimum of four hours if you want to do everything, if you want to walk the trails, and that's minimum. Like, I think you could spend a day here if you are a fanatic about this stuff, and uh, I really wish I had educated myself a little bit more. I mean, I know the basic story. I thought that I had a pretty good grip on it, but again, grossly underestimated it. Just so you know, it is uh, it's very windy here, and uh, almost every footage that I've ever seen about this place, it is windy. The gimbal batteries burned out. Uh, you probably hear the wind in the background. It's really intense. Another tip before you come, pee at the visitor center because it is pretty spread out and those are the only bathrooms that I have seen so far. Uh, but the National Cemetery is here. I'm not going to pretend that I know all about the history and say what happened where and everything. Uh, but I will be back. And the other thing that I will do when I come back, I've noticed that not being able to film was actually kind of a blessing because I'm worried about getting all those really good shots, but when you put the camera down and you just take it in and start reading and start looking at the markers, it, it's a very, very somber place and really intense. And if you're trying to film everything, you're kind of distracted. So on the way home from shooting this, I downloaded and listened to the book, The Last Stand by Nathaniel Philbrick. It's a great book about the Battle of the Little Bighorn and it goes way beyond the battle itself. Even after listening to the book and reviewing the footage, I still don't feel prepared to describe all the locations that I shot. So I decided I'd just put all the footage and photos in a montage for anyone that may never have the opportunity to come here. Just a couple of notes as you view the footage though, each of the white stones represent where an American soldier fell and was temporarily buried. In 1881, the remains of the unknown soldiers, scouts, and attached personnel were relocated to a mass grave at Last Stand Hill around this monument. The horses of the 7th Cavalry have their own grave here too. The brown markers too that mark where Indian warriors fell. It's a common belief that the entire 7th Cavalry died in the battle, but 5 miles away 350 soldiers did survive this battle.
definitely coming here for an entire day again uh, to travel through here and I'm going to be better educated. But again, just a travel tip for you. Go to the bathroom at the visitor center, $25 entry fee. It is a national park uh, unless you have your national park pass, but definitely don't drive by this one. This is a really incredible part of our history. Thanks for watching. I'm Kenny. This is Sagebrush Soul and may the best of your past be the worst of your future.